Rumour is that the iPhone 7, which is expected to make an appearance in the next few weeks, will not have a headphone jack. Now, <gasps> uh, exactly adds to that the fact that uh, Intel has been talking this week about how they think USB uh, Type C could be the future of the headphone port, and, and you know, not the traditional 3.5 millimeter jack. And it's looking like maybe this sort of faithful little port that we've relied on for decades might be going away. Now, I know that Andy, you feel quite positively about this. I am quite positive about this. I'll give you a chance to explain yourself. <laughs> okay. That's only fair. All right. Well, you said yourself, this the 3.5 mil headphone jack, the standard headphone jack as we know it on all phones and Walkmans and whatever, has been around for decades. This is the longest lasting piece of tech that I think we're probably all still using on a daily basis. I think that's probably fair to Look say. At it, yeah. The iPhone, we've had the we had the, the the long connector. Now we've got the lightning one. We've changed from USB C. We've had so many different things and that still is there. And what that's doing is making our phones fatter than they could be. We could get rid of that. We can it, it takes up a lot of space that connector. It's also a very old analog connection that's based on old technology from decades ago. Get rid of that, we move on, we get used to it, and in a year's time, we won't even remember the old headphone jack. I mean, to address those points in turn, in, in terms of how much fatter uh, the headphone port is, is making phones, you know, yeah. it, it, could they be thinner if they lost it? Yes. I mean, possibly yes, but I mean, how Definitely much... Definitely yes. How, well, I mean, yeah, sure. Okay, let's say that they get two millimeters thinner. Is that really going to make much of a difference? If people really cared about portability of their phones, then they wouldn't have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger over the last few years clearly we don't care i live and die on that two millimeters luke no i don't believe that for a second and as for the the digital um audio thing yes uh, you are right there are some potentially very interesting things that could be done uh, with the move uh, away from the the, the limitations of, of the port we have now but i mean let's be honest most people are just using the sort of straight out the box apple earphones lots of people like if they go a step up then that don't want to spend more than maybe sort of a hundred pounds hundred dollars on something that they're probably going to lose or something going to break so i don't believe that that sort of minor audio audio file grade increases in sound quality Luke, are really worth the trade you can't blame people some people still are using feature phones and listen to ocean color scene like doesn't necessarily mean that other people won't take advantage of this tech but we've also seen massive increases in bluetooth technology like bluetooth headphones a few years ago were awful and it was this this terrible tinny sound and now like the new generation thinks of like akg have got some amazing ones even the new beats have got brilliant bluetooth audio i don't know what future you're living in where bluetooth is good enough now and it, has and has reached an acceptable level of quality but it's not my universe you don't want to be charging up your headphones i don't think that's what people i don't think that's what people want at the moment the headphone jack is one of the very few pieces of technology on a smartphone that you know is going to be reliable it's been reliable is it reliable yes. mine breaks all the time and on most of my devices not discounting my current phone from this the the headphone jack is the first thing to go and it ends up being like you you have to wiggle the cable and sometimes one channel will cut out and one won't and you think oh is it the headphone that's at play or is it the phone well, is that a problem with the port or is it a problem with the uh, the connector because it sounds like well, your headphone i think it's both is the problem because they are both fragile old-fashioned types of technology. I completely disagree. It's an old, reliable technology that for decades has been doing a very, very simple job extremely effectively. What other, what other piece of tech in your phone is decades old? Well, uh, I, uh, well uh, no, uh, that, yeah, there's no other piece of tech in exactly. my phone that's decades old. It because, be. because only one piece of tech that's decades old is still doing its job it's at not a perfectly doing its job. decent level. Oh, Luke, you're anyway, so anti-future. I'm not anti-future. I'm just anti-change for the sake of it. Get and, on board like, this with the change train. This is an Apple like train. Pulling into station. <laughs> <laughs> September Apple launch. No. I think it's a good port and I hope that it stays <laughs> around. <laughs> I hope that it stays around forever. Anyway, Andy and I will have to agree to disagree, but as always... Uh, let us know what you think.